jump into level... Uh, let me think which level has got this in. Uh, level 4. So, for example, in here, if I can get across here, I'm, I'm not going to do good, by the way, because eesh, the frame rate is pretty low. And I just want to show you it. There we go, there's a coin there, um, down at the bottom. And what these coins do is, I think I mentioned in the video before, is players can get the coins in the game to unlock levels. Oh, there you go. But it's been collected now, and then there's another coin over there. And players can unlock that and, sorry, players can collect the coin and then use those coins to unlock further levels. It'll take time to get the coins, but that means that players, if they can't give money or they can't use tap joy or something like this to get free coins, then they can give time towards the game, which is, for developers, is great. Because I think App Store ranking is also based on usage of a, of a game as well. So if a game is opened, you know, five times a day by every single user, it will rank higher, and it also depends on the length of time. It also gives the player replay value of the game as well, because they want to collect the coins, so that there's a fun factor in there as well. Uh, and any game that's played longer and is exposed more is likely to be more viral or... or the friends might see it or something like this. So I think the coin thing, you know, should do that. The placement of coins is is, is going to be one or two coins probably in each level. So um, that's that's an interesting thing to get because I find myself playing to try and get these coins. Uh, added chart boost. Yeah, chart boost. I was going to do a chart boost video and I tried to get one done yesterday, but my Mac just went so slow and it, and it fell apart when I was trying to do this recording for chart boost and how to put chart boost in games. And that's going to be a separate video, and I will get around to that one soon because I know somebody had given a, a comment asking for a chart boost video. It's pretty simple to do, and I'll show you how to do that with the Prime 31 plugins. And uh, But the, ch the cool thing is about chart boost is that you don't have to have banner ads in the game covering the game screen. It's just a pop-up, say, after the game finishes or inside of the menu screen or something, and the player can just cancel it if they want to. But so far, I've said this in my other video, is Chart Boost is performing really well for us at the moment compared to AdMob. In our other games, it's just making way more than what we do on AdMob for the same games. So uh, it's it's pretty good, and I've started to put that in two other games as well. So I'll hopefully get around to doing a video, excuse me, a video on that one separately of just how to put Chart Boost ads inside of a Unity game on Android. So, other thing. All right, so I anchored the buttons to the bottom left and the right of the screen. So, I'll just open my um, main game screen scene here. As you notice here, the left and right buttons here, I've got this little square. And these squares are, let the buttons are childs of these little squares. And these squares, what they do when the game starts is it anchors the, uh, they anchor themselves to the bottom right and left of the screen. They just position themselves there. So if I click on play, these are in the middle right now. Uh, I might go full screen actually. That's fine. But you can see they're at the bottom left and the bottom right. So the cool thing is that when you're playing on any device, like this device here is actually larger than my personal Android device. This is a, a 1280 by 700. Those keys are always going to be in the bottom left and the bottom right of the screen. So if I just click on one of the levels, hopefully that's you can see that there on this bottom left-hand side. It's anchored to the bottom, and the bottom right is also anchored. So that makes the the buttons at the far the, the the furthest side of the screen on any device, no matter how wide or how not not so wide that device is. And that's really important because um, it also means that if the if this screen height here is not quite as high, the keys are the the buttons are not going to go below the screen. They'll also be shoved up a little bit as well. So. That's uh, that's really important from t from device to device. So, uh, and I'll demonstrate it here as well. So if I go to landscape 320, you can see here they're not quite in the corners. I click on play, and then, boom, they get anchored to the left and the right. So, that should be that should be consistent from device to device. All right. So next point, I did a fourth and fifth level as well. Let me quickly show you this one. I'll change it to free aspect so we go full screen. I'll go into, I think this is the fourth level that I just opened here. And I, I don't know if I'd seen, if I'd shown you this level already. Um, I can't remember if I did. This one's kind of heavily inspired by uh, Super Meat Boy. They have a lot of cogs and cogs that are sort of spinning around on wheels as well. I'll try and get this coin down here if I can. Um, 
Ah, oh, but I got hit at the same time. Okay, never mind. So that's level 4 as it stands at the moment. I update that one later. Level 5. This one is hard, and it's not going to make it any easier oh, since my frame rate is going real low. Oh my god. This one is probably the hardest level I've made, and I don't want to make this a, you know, a, 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 just a, a game jam-packed with tough levels uh, for the sake of being hard. I want them to be fun levels as well, but this one is really tough, and I might be able to get around it, and if I, I might try to click the coin over there, maybe. I can't. Oh, no. Anyway, I need to adjust this level a little bit, but that's number five. 